I can see perfectly. Had an interesting thing launch itself into the P.O. box this week. Living Dead Dolls figurines. Now, I'm vaguely aware of Living Dead Dolls. They were just dolls done up in a spooky undead fashion, as the name would suggest. But now they've escaped into the world of blind bags and mystery boxes and collectible figurines, and basically they thought there was some money there for them to make, presumably for spooky kids ages 15 and up. Ooh. But a choking hazard only for children under three. So if you're between three and 15, presumably you are physically safe with these, but they may warp your fragile mind with their clowny faces and detached retinas. Right, so what's going on? There's a child, a bit like the one from The Omen around some dead birds that he's killed with his catapult and he's got no pupils and he's sitting on some books. That's nice. On the other side, somebody with a lot of puncture wounds to their face and red eyes. Hmm. And a sort of ghosty per- oh no, I think actually she's frozen in the floor or something. I see- ah look, oh, skating and fallen into the lake. Well, that's a nice thought for the day. And on the side- oh look, not only do we get told what's in them, but what percentage chance you have. So right, the more common ones are Schizo, the clown with his little balloon. Frozen Charlotte there, 14%. Valpurgis, 10%, a sort of pointing witch person. Damien, yes indeed, I was right about the omen thing, 16 and 20%, so the most likely is Grace of the Grave. Then you've got the rarer ones down below, Schizo in an inferior colour at 6%. A far better looking frozen Charlotte, is that um, sort of made of translucent plastic? Can't tell, at 6. You've got a red Valpurgis at 8. You've got Damien at 4%, who looks exactly the same. Oh no, hang on, he's got like a red shirt. Is that really enough to justify a different um, variation? I don't think so. And Mr. Evil Burgess. Go on then, what's inside? I do hope it's nice. Ooh, there's some glue, that's a good start. Um, oh. Blimey. Well, it seems quite small, and also they're really keen on you not seeing what's in the bag. Well, what have we got? And have we got any way to actually open it? Oh, blimey, there's no hole. Hang on. Bloody hell, I can't even get it open with my teeth! Oh, right, first run Dirk Technic. This looks like a job for the keyring. Blimey O'Reilly. This is exciting, isn't it? Packaging, high security. And what's actually in the damn thing? Oh, it's Grace of the Grave. 20%. Statistically, the most likely. I'm quite disappointed by that, which is a little bit unfair, because it actually looks quite good. Um, yeah, got one big giant eye, some sort of blood around the mouth. Definitely been repeatedly shot in the head with a BB gun, which is a bad start to the week. And you've got sort of a spooky dress thing going on and the rest of it. And on the bottom it says Living Dead Dolls TM, which presumably stands for Tim and Mark, who are the ones who designed it. Well, there we go. Hmm, does it get on the shelf of interesting items or not? It is quite nicely made. Well, there's a bit of a sort of weird lines here where the arms have been stuck on. Yeah, it's quite nicely painted. Go on then, to the shelf with you.